Mark Alicia comes here to Parsons Hall on Indiana State University's campus for work every day. The director of communications works a lot behind the scenes and it's something he's very familiar with. He was a well-renowned journalist for the Indianapolis Star newspaper for 16 years. It was there that he and two other journalists were responsible for breaking the story of Dr. Larry Nasser. Now before this Netflix documentary hits the public eye, I spoke with Alicia about his role in catching the serial sexual abuser and his lasting impact he made on USA Gymnastics. How the heck did we get to this point? That's a great question. It all began in August of 2016. The Indianapolis Star had just published an article, not about Larry Nasser, but about the systemic negligence to report abuse by USA Gymnastics. This is what caught the attention of Rachel Denhollander. She's a former gymnast and one of Nasser's sexual abuse victims. She decided to reach out to Alicia and two others at the Indy Star to tell her story. Then, two more young women came forward with their stories of Nasser. USA Gymnastics, and sexual abuse. That's when Alicia and the other journalists began to understand the magnitude of what they were now in the middle of. I said, we are on to something beyond effed up, and we need to do everything we can to, to get to this. How many more could there be? And, uh, and then, then we found out Women began coming out of the woodwork, detailing their stories of sexual abuse at the hands of Nasser. Alicia told me this established a pattern of abuse, but it also gave him confidence to continue pursuing this bombshell of a story. Alicia says the Indy Star received a lot of pushback from USA Gymnastics lawyers saying they were slandering a quote, great man's name. But Alicia says they took their time, covered all their bases, and used the survivor's courage as motivation. It was really stressful, and we were just so determined that we weren't going to make a mistake that would allow somebody to sort of disparage all of this other really, really important work. That hard work was finally rewarded. The story came out, and pretty soon, the nation was talking about it. Then, in January of 2018, Nasser was convicted of first-degree sexual misconduct in front of 150 of his accusers. He was sentenced to up to 125 years in prison. Alicia told me he's extremely proud of the hard work from he and his colleagues at the Indy Star, but he says this upcoming film highlights the true heroes. The greatest part of the story is the, the way the survivors are documented, Rachel's heroism, um, the bond these women had and the utter determination they had to make sure that this guy, Nasser, went to jail and not just that, but other people would feel better about coming forward uh, about their own sexual abuse. 